Good morning, first grade. So last week we heard the story of David and Goliath, and we learned a little bit about what happened after David defeated Goliath. So this week's story is about David and a really good friend that David has. And so we're going to learn a little bit about friendship this week. So after defeating Goliath, David became a really big hero because of what he did, because it was something nobody else mm -hmm. wanted to do. So at first, Saul was thankful for what David had done. However, remember, Saul became jealous of David and all the praise that he was getting. So because he wanted the people to love him as much as they loved David. So remember, Saul began to hate David because of that jealousy that he had towards him. Now Saul had a son whose name was Jonathan. And Jonathan didn't hate David like his father did. And he didn't become jealous of David. He actually became David's best friend. And Jonathan knew that David was going to be the next king. So he wanted to help David um, with the situation with his father. So the Bible says that Jonathan loved David as much as he loved himself. So Jonathan helped keep David safe until it was time for him to become king because Saul became so jealous and hated David so much that he wanted to kill David. So Jonathan went against his father to help keep David safe. And so Jonathan knew how to be a true friend because um, he looked after David and kept him safe um, when Saul wanted to kill him. So friends are one of God's gifts to us. Because I know you guys have friends in your classroom, friends in your neighborhood, right? And they're a gift. They're someone that we can relate to, that we can talk to. So we need to learn to be good friends to others, right? Remember, we want to be treated, we want to treat others the way that we want to be treated. So when you're thinking about how you treat your friends, are you being kind to them like you would want someone to be kind to you? Because Jesus says that he is our best friend. He knows all about us and he still loves us. He's always kind and good to us. So that's how we should treat our friends. We should be kind to them, treating them with respect, not name calling our friends or being mean to them. All right, we're going to learn a little bit more about David and Jonathan um, in the next video. God bless you guys. Have a great day.